this isn't supposed to be able to move. It's supposed to be tight, not wiggle. I can almost guarantee you that's a vibration. All right, what up everybody? So just kind of a little little update, shop update, hanging out with Bentley. Um, it's, a, it's a Sunday, so we're taking a little bit of a break, but just kind of kind of give a, a walk around. We got a bunch of stuff out here right now, so a lot of projects coming. I love not coming pick that big stupid forklift thing up. Yeah, I know, crazy, right, Bentley? Um, obviously, we got some work to do to the trailer, actually. Um, we're gonna put some new decals on it. I really want to get the, the diesel working again. I think it's got a fuel pump problem. Um, obviously, our RX-7 needs a bunch of shit done to it. We are not looking forward to doing that. Man, I got, I'm getting eaten. Eaten alive by fire ants right now. That's not fun. Um, anyways, yeah, so we got to get some work into that. I think we are going to end up LS swapping this. Uh, this is Tommy's car. Um, you know, it's a VR4, you know, basically the, the Japanese muscle. It's going to be like seven, 800 horsepower. And then we got the rest of the stuff back here, which we're still very happy with, obviously. A row of chances cars. He's got to come back and pick these up. But um, I think we're going to do some work to this one, take it back to the track. But yeah. All looking uh, pretty good out here. Um, obviously, we still have sand here. They're telling me sometime this month they're going to get to me. And we're going to get our uh, driveway poured and with a bunch of shell put out in front and going around the corner for now. Um, that way we have somewhat of a driveway. We're not just on the sand and getting all over the dyno and everything. So we uh, did some digging and made ourselves basically a deck that comes into the shop um, for that bay purely because it was really hard to get into. So the only way we could really do it um, was we used the... The bottom plate that the dyno came on, as I'm wearing my, my Dynocom shirt, um, and we used that kind of deck wood crate they built as a base to drive up on. So it worked pretty well. We got the drag car sitting on it right now. Um, but yeah, Bentley and I are just, we're editing some videos today, taking it easy, and we're gonna get back to doing everything on Monday. We should have the dyno up and running. Um, hopefully we gotta go get like a desk and a TV and everything to, show numbers and everything for the dyno. So pretty excited though on on what we're doing right now. But uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update of everything. This will go into an, another video here in a second. So we'll check you back in a minute. Bentley, what you got? What do you got? What is that? <laughs> What's up guys? Just checking back in. Got Bentley here. Uh, right now we've been working in the shop. Um, obviously we're still trying to get the dyno going, so we needed air. We got this new big uh, two-stage cobalt air compressor. We ran the air up following our electric lines over, over the beam and down here to a, a four switch because this big uh, lift takes air to use the locks. And the dyno needs air for the brake. So we're basically running four. So one goes to the lift, one goes to the dyno, and a third we're gonna go to a, an actual like hose reel for an air hose, which we're gonna mount on the side over here. Um, as always, he's getting into stuff. What are you doing? So yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, hoping, fingers crossed, um, that either tonight or early tomorrow we'll be able to actually run the car on the dyno. This is really the last thing I have to do um, besides kind of start plugging in electronics and figuring out the software for it. I've never used a Dynocom dyno and their new quantum software, so I think we'll be able to figure it out and hook it up. What up, guys? So we've been getting a ton of work done today. It's been crazy. So the dyno and the lift for the dyno are now ready. We got all of our D-rings secured so we can bolt the cars in. Obviously we have Project Hurricane strapped down and we're getting ready to go. My laptop's charging um, and we might make a, a pass tonight. And by pass, I mean a dyno run. Um, otherwise it'll be tomorrow morning just because it's getting dark out. We don't really want to wake all the old people. You know, we are in Florida and they're retired, so we'll give them that. But uh, yeah, it's going well. We've got a few more things to tie up. Just little bitty shop stuff, like uh, putting a security light on security light on out there you know that's 
on a motion detector. Honestly, mostly because when we walked out to lock the shop, it's just pitch black. So it's nice to have a little bit of a timer so you can actually walk away you know, to the car or whatever. But yes, looking good guys. We got all the airlines, um, ran to the lift. So I got a little more cleanup work to do on that and to install the hose reel and then we're good to go with air. We've been blasting away on the customer's car. We're selling a stereo deck. Now this is a 2000 GT. And if you guys know, a 2000 GT does not have a double DIN. And tell me, how much of a pain is it to put a double DIN in a 2000? Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it, it's a pain. And the only reason we even could is because we had an 04, uh, excuse me, or an 01 or 02 GT, a convertible up there that has the had the double DIN in it from the factory. So I mean, he played the blood, he uh, paid the blood toll. So it's getting done. Looks pretty good now. That's all swapped, not from this car, but it fits pretty well and looks factory so pretty excited with that we're gonna do a couple more things to this car making sure it's good and ready for the owner he's gonna pick it up tomorrow and they'll be good to go and then we got a twin turbo car coming next week I believe on the dyno you guys will see that so look forward to a lot of dyno videos because obviously Dynocom and our dyno we're gonna be running a lot of cars over it and I'm gonna film basically every single one of them for you guys so enjoy that uh, but yeah as for now obviously lots of work to do lots of projects we got to keep it going, busy as always. So we'll see you guys later. Throw a car mount. Hey Tommy. Yeah. How do you know you're old? <clears throat> we got too fast, too furious on VHS. Look at that, guys. Some of you don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's a tape. That's a VHS that goes on a VCR, and you had to rewind it. I had to wait for it to rewind. Yeah, yeah. You had to wait for it to. You had to hit rewind. But you can't have it on the picture. You gotta hit stop and then hit rewind, otherwise it was bad for it. Or you had one of these special rewinders, you pulled it out, stuck it in, slammed it down. Yeah, yeah a whole separate machine. Yeah, a whole separate machine that you had to plug in. And it, was, and it would still take like at least a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And you have to wait for it. Yeah. That's how you know you're old. I know what it is though. I got VHS, but I don't have Too Fast, Too Furious. I got that one on Amazon. What you got there? What you got? What you got? You got a tape ball? Yeah? Mainly the shop dog is helping clean it up. He likes to pick up garbage. Now we just gotta teach him to throw it away. So far I've been unsuccessful. However, he is only 11 weeks old. He's just really big for his, for his age, but he is a, a large breed dog, so Eventually he'll be tall enough, he'll just be able to drop it into the trash can. So, fingers crossed we'll be able to do that, that'll be pretty cool. Is that good? Guys, Bentley's trying to fix the Honda so it actually has horsepower. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Huh? Bentley? What are you doing under there? Huh? What are you doing? What's he need? Need a bigger turbo? More boost? What do you think? More boost? Yeah. Don't worry. It's okay. We can make it faster. You don't just have to be a ricer. We can make you faster. Oh, he's gonna go hide. <laughs> What's up, guys? Little shop update. Um, we've had these banners for forever. Some of them were up at the shop in Montana. We took them down. Um, we have literally a ton of them. So we're gonna be putting them along the walls of the shop. But it's really hot up there, so it's gonna take me a while, but you can see we, we got a bunch of them, so we're gonna get them all put up, looking good, all the brands that we carry, even, not, not all of them, because we carry a lot more than what we have for banners, but um, yeah, stuff we carry, stuff we sell, stuff we like. Um, as we're doing a shop update, the latest thing is we also got uh, the dyno set up. And what I mean set up is we got this nice rolling stand, everything is zip tied down, TV for it for our Dynocom. But yeah, it actually works really well. You can literally just roll it into place, spin it so we're ready to dyno. And ironically, um, when we wrap up our stuff that you actually use to put on the engine, we can wrap it up right there on the back of the TV um, on the, the extra tall hooks, which works out perfectly. So that's awesome, super stoked about that. But yeah. Just a little update, uh, I'll check back again when I'm, I, probably when I'm done or when I get down and I'm too hot again, probably get a couple more, but yeah, I'm just standing up there. It's very hot, it's fun though. Bentley has conquered the 
dirt pile. I've been trying to get out of it for like 10 minutes. All right, guys, we, uh, Bentley and I just finished, so we got quite a few banners up. Yeah, don't we? So, looks good to me. Um, obviously, we'll have more and we'll have to hang them up. We got our Don't Tread on Me flag, and we actually have another American flag over there. A little pan around. There we go. Let's do another little thing that makes it feel like home. Oh, buddy. And uh, makes it look better. Obviously, over here, we still have to put up our office section over there. Um, but it, it's coming together, guys. Day by day, little by little, it's coming together. I'm pretty happy with it. More work going on, guys. Getting prepared for our concrete driveway now to the shop. So dirt work's going on. Got that delivered road mix. So we'll have, hopefully, a little driveway. Um, at least of dirt and gravel, or like a shell here. And then we'll have the actual driveway of concrete leading up to the shop. So that means no more ramps. No more wood decks, no more digging, less sand, fingers crossed, less sand, and we should be good to go. More work undone, guys. We have to get our concrete pad to work. Be good. Oh, guys, looking good. Nice, big. Here you go, guys, the almost finished product. Brush concrete here. Nice beveled edge. Pretty awesome. Let's, so let it dry here, and after it's dry, we'll uh, get all the building all cleaned off. And we'll be good to go. So right now it's a Thursday afternoon. Um, we're not gonna put a car on it or anything, and we can't right now, um, just due to how high it is. But we're gonna go ahead and go till uh, Tuesday, and Tuesday. We'll open the shop back up, start cleaning things off, because that way it'll be fully cleared and hard. So we're getting more dirt put in so that we have a dirt ramp up to there. Really, it's like a clay and a shell, so it packs really good. Not like the sand we had before, which is terrible stuff. So that'll be good. It'll get us a nice ramp up and in and nice place to work outside and just not have to... Uh, have cars in the sand or ramp them in the door, it'll be much nicer, so this is awesome. Okay. The dirt done. Yeah, we'll drive in there in a couple